<sighs> so there was once a point in my life where I was a stoner, all right? And during that time, before that, I used to love playing video games. Why? Because whenever I would blaze, I would just fall asleep. So for a long period of my life, I didn't play video games and I kind of wanted to again, but I just couldn't because I was addicted to THC. Eventually I ended up stopping and I started gaming again a little bit, right? It actually helped me with my addiction, believe it or not. <clears throat> and some things I started to notice was that I felt guilty every single time I would play something. I felt really guilty and I felt like gaming just wasn't fun. So what did I do to make it fun again? A couple of things. First thing, I tried some variation. I realized that a lot of the times when I was thinking that gaming wasn't fun, I was just literally playing like the same genre. I was playing a lot of uh, FPS and my go-to FPSs are Call of Duty. So you can see what the problem was there, okay? Uh, Call of Duty and Borderlands, Halo. You know, gaming like that, sure, Borderlands is a little bit more different, but I still just felt like I was playing kind of like the same genre of gaming. It was all just point somewhere, shoot. I was having way more fun when I switched, literally, and bought a Nintendo Switch and started playing other games. Like, I started playing Mario Odyssey, started playing Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, uh, some classic Pokemon games on Nintendo 3DS and 2DS. And because of the variation... I realized I was having a lot of fun. What did I do to curb the guilt? Here's what I did. A lot of the times as adults, especially as adults, because teenagers and kids usually don't have this issue, because society doesn't make them feel like, feel like they, they have to be production making, like production money making machines that just have to make money, that their entire value as a human being is dependent upon the job, the salary, the amount of money and responsibility they take for their family. The thing is, you're a human being, okay? <clears throat> if you went to a museum and looked at pictures of Mona Lisa or whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever kind of artist that you, would, you like to look at, right? Or you listen to some music, you wouldn't feel bad. Because it's perceived in society that, hey, that's a thing I value to do. But when you play video games, you feel bad. But when you look at it closely, video gaming is also an art form visually and musically as well. So you literally just feel bad because people are all like, or society is telling you, oh, you can't be playing, you have to work, you have to do this, this is stupid, this is like the thing that kids do, this is... No, man. And once you realize that, just chill out a bit and have some fun. I think it's that simple. Just realize you're a human being, that your life isn't just dependent on things like money. That's not your entire value as a human being, believe it or not, or your relationships or anything. It's your entire experience. And it's okay for you to experience video games. Now, is it okay for you to play video games for 12, 13 hours a day? I don't know. That's for you to find out. Is it, if, is it, are you taking it to the point of affecting your relationships and not going to school and, you know, like missing out on a job, not improving your health? I would say for me, that was definitely a problem. Do what you have to do, but do it responsibly. And allow yourself to be a human being and enjoy things. That's all. That's what I think. Also subscribe. Thanks for listening.